The Sri Lankan government has been criticized by human rights groups for not doing more to investigate the disappearances. Now, you're prepared to talk to me tonight about this... Reports by groups like the Asian Human Rights Commission back up the testimony of Tamil families here in Sydney. She said she had one phone call and uh, they asked for some money. And she said immediately she wanted to talk to the son first. And, uh, Tan Veer, again not his real name, has also suffered the torment of having a family member kidnapped. His sister's 20-year-old son was abducted from the family apartment in Colombo just before Christmas last year. And someone knocked on the door and there were only four or five people outside. They said there's some sort of police investigation and they, they you know, called out his name. So he walked out and uh, he told his, uh, his mother that I'll sort this and come. And when she came out, uh, she saw them sort of pushing them, you know, in, him in a white van. And by the time she came out, they just, the van drove off. A few weeks after the abduction, Tanvir's sister received a phone call from the kidnappers. Uh, they said they'll come to, back to her with some details. She told me that and I told her, you know, whatever the money somehow, you know, we'll get him out. So this is about three months ago, so we've been waiting since, uh, you know, to hear from those people. Tanvir's family believes the boy may have been taken by the Sri Lankan security forces and handed over to the Karuna group to be trained as a militant. I think he was arrested, I think it's by the army or police. I don't think it's a rebel group. But there have been stories about uh, army and police arresting kids and handing out the Karuna group uh, to fight against uh, Tamil Tigers. Uh, maybe that has happened, uh, I'm not sure. Dr Mohan also believes that many of the younger kidnapping victims are being forcibly recruited to fight for paramilitary groups. But he says none of it would be possible without the approval of corrupt government officials. It, it's a combination of paramilitary groups, um, combination of government uh, highly placed officials uh, and, and the military and the armed forces. There should be connivance between all these groups for effectively to carry this out again and again and again without being get caught. As implausible as this sounds, just a few months ago, Sri Lanka's police chief announced that criminal gangs were involved in the kidnappings, along with corrupt police and military officers. Sri Lanka's High Commissioner confirms this, but says corrupt officials are already being dealt with. Many of them are ex-fellow service, but, and a couple of people are serving police, not many. But those fellows have been now thrown out there under detention and being charged. The Department of Foreign Affairs says it cannot offer an opinion as to who it thinks is behind the kidnappings. But Dr Mano Mahan believes that the government needs to do more to help its Tamil citizens and their families. So Australia, I feel, should take a leading role and um, call a spade or a spade, talk to Sri Lankan government authorities and possibly also canvas countries like uh, uh, the United Kingdom, which has a moral obligation to, in this problem because Sri Lanka was uh, a British colony, and perhaps canvas even uh, America and the European Union to pay, take a more proactive role in this problem, uh, leaving the political problem alone to take a very uh, hard line on these human right violations um, and to, to put a stop to that. The whole Tamil thing such a mess and uh, won't go away. That bothering report from Nick Lazaridis was researched by Yelda Hakim. Nick tells us that the Sri Lankan High Commissioner here in Australia says that he's never been approached by the Department of Foreign Affairs in relation to the quite amazing rash of kidnappings. Coming up, a former top CIA operative who spent years leading the hunt for Osama bin Laden. He's a man that's extraordinarily talented, has put together an organisation that's absolutely unique in the Islamic world.